Yes, Kamal, I'm all right. Uh, thank you so much for asking. Uh, but yeah, have you understood about the basic instructions and about the design? Yeah? Okay. Guys, we should start. Okay. Generally, how should you approach a low level system design round? Or it's not just about the round or the interview. It's about how you should do low level design in general also. If you're working in a company, of course, you'll have to do it, right? So these are four steps in which you have to, you have to do the design. First is identify system requirements. Second, make a use case diagram. Anybody who knows what use case diagram is? Anybody who knows what use case diagram is? Guys, if you can give me a quick thumbs up, thumbs down, or you can unmute. Anybody who knows what use case diagram is? If you don't know, you can give a thumbs down. Okay. Okay. We'll build the use case diagram, Niraj, Niraj. So don't worry. Third, after making the use case diagram, we have to build the class diagram. Okay. Fourth, when you have built the class diagram, we have to build the activity diagram. Fifth, then we should write the code. So code is always the last step, guys. Please remember, we think that Shuruat me code kar do. Let's start coding in the beginning only. No, never ever do that. In general, also when you are working on you know real-time systems or in any big product-based company where you have to start with any such product, always you have to follow these five rules. Okay. Today in this session, we'll be doing LND of zero the and of course we'll write the code as well. But before that, you'll see which all steps do we follow. All these steps we'll be following. So you'll be able to understand. Okay. Shall we all start now? Shall we all start now? Okay, guys. First of all, I hope Zerodha is something that everyone has used. Like not only Zerodha, any stock proofing application. Yes. Anybody who don't know what Zerodha is? Okay, guys. So let's uh so I'm hoping that system requirements is something that you would have already known that we should be able to place an order. Everyone has a watch list. You know, orders are of different types. We should be able to delete the order. We should be able to add money. We should be able to remove the money. All these things, right? System should be able to send the notifications. Yes or no? Like everyone is aware of all these requirements of any stock grouping application. I want to see thumbs up from everyone. Prashant, Sidhu, Ahmed. Rashid, I'm not able to see your thumbs up, guys. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So, one of the actor would be user. And second actor is going to be system. Yes or no, guys? There are going to be two actors in this complete uh, application. User and a system. Let us see what all things will a user be able to do. Use. First is, user should be able to place a order. Yes or no? Now, order could be of, uh, like, there are multiple types of orders. But just for simplicity, just for the session, we are going ahead with limit order and market order okay limit market let's go ahead with these two orders as of now of course we can update it going forward are is everyone convinced yes or no okay second add slash remove 
money from wallet yes or no everyone like i can add money to my wallet i can remove money from my wallet right third okay if you know every person has their watch list right where you are able to see the prices of the stocks yes or no so create update delete watch list okay what other things should a user be able to do guys anyone sabne stock broking applications use kare guys please pitch in to add money in the wallet actually we have added it second point just check out the second okay. point add or remove money from the wallet here it is real okay see the orders actual transactions i mean like a status status of that one yes see transactions what else what all things can a user do stopwatch what well, that is i think that is fine uh, create update delete watch list i think that is all covered right should this be good to go for a user like major parts we have covered right let's go search stocks yes but uh, that will also be you know covered in watch list but yeah we can specifically write search stocks okay let's move to system now okay first thing okay think of the complete application what do you do you first open an application jab open karte ho to kya hota hai authentication so user authentication ya fir verification ya whatever words you want to use okay second updation of stock prices yes or no third what would be the third execution of orders yes or no everyone execution of orders what should be the fourth sending notifications right whenever your order is like executed fully you get a notification right yes or no everyone please yaar thumbs up thumbs down lalit prashant guys what happened why you not taking part please take part i hope you all know about me right uh, like i didn't give my introduction this time but if you want to know something about me i always open what else what else does a system do what else does a system do anyone who would like to pitch in go on should we go ahead with this then major points i think we have covered for the system as well but probably you can also say money management okay and also if you you know want to go deep so when you place a order it actually verifies status of your order probably when you are placing a buy order and let's say you do not have funds relevant funds in your account like or in your wallet it doesn't execute that order it straight away gives a failed call right so validation order validation is also something that uh, you know system does right Yes or no, guys? Perfect. Now, this is what we call as a use case diagram, guys. This is what you call as a use case diagram. Now.
Now you see, you have written down all the things, okay? And in an interview, you will not be able to, you know, fulfill all the requirements in one hour of interview. So what generally interviewer does is, it asks you to shortlist three or four features on which you'll be working. Of course, in today's session, we will be picking all of them. But generally in an interview, they ask you to pick one or two requirements, three or four requirements on which you'll be able to go to the next further steps. Are we all clear about this? Perfect. Let us go to the class diagram. Is everyone aware of what class diagram is? Is everyone aware of what class diagram is? Has it, okay, you, you don't know what class diagram is? Okay, let's make one then. Okay, let's talk about the basic details that are out there. Basic details, basic classes. First one, we should start with user, right? Let's start with the user class. Here we have to define in a class diagram, what we generally do is we have to define all the classes. We have to define all the data members that it will have, all the services that are out, uh, going to be there, all the design patterns uh, that we're using. So generally, class diagram is the step where most amount of time goes by. And it is the most important step. In this uh, step, you have to have conversation with your interviewer about what could be the best approach okay keep on having it keep on optimizing your design code trust me is the easiest part it is the easiest part class diagram is the most important part and of course slightly complex as well because you might have to do multiple iterations in code generally if you directly jump onto the code without class diagram you end up screwing your code and you will have to do multiple iterations here and there but on production, that is really bad. But either on copy and pen, when you're doing it, when you're building your classes, of course, you can do multiple iterations, you can modify, you can delete, you can take a lot of decisions, right? So always remember class diagram is the most important step and generally you are being judged there only, okay? Because in, everyone knows that you can code because DS rounds pehle ho chuki hote hai, in an interview generally. So everyone knows that you can code, aap udar bhi code kar loge, but how, how are you going to structure it really depends. Okay. So user, let's discuss about the data members that a user is going to have. Probably name, what type, string type. Okay. This is how you should write. You should always mention what type and you should always mention what are the like, uh, you know, data members actually. So one is name, second email. That will also be string. Again, password also we can store. That could also be string for now. Of course, it should be like it should not be in the string format. But okay, let's say just for simplicity, we are keeping it as string only. Uh, are we all on the same page? By the way, right now, like it's it seems like that I'm just talking. It would be great if you guys can interact here. You can unmute, please. In design, please have this conversation. Okay, let's then go ahead. Okay, name, email, uh, password. What else does a user have? User will always have a wallet. Yes or no? So, wallet is going to have money. So, let's denote money by integer just for simplicity. You can make it much more complex, but I think for a normal uh, discussion, it would be too much. So, we can go ahead, um, you know, just to keep as an integer variable where you know, user is just having or storing how much money does he have in the wallet, right? Next one is watch list. Every user has a watch list, yes or no? Now, watch list is going to have multiple stocks, right? Which means watch list is going to be a complex object. Since watch list is a complex object, it is always good to make it as a separate class. So, watch list. Everyone understood why we are having watch list as a separate class here? Everyone? Everyone understood why are we having watch list as a separate class? Uh, Let me uh, come. Watch list is going to be a complex object. 
okay what will watch list have a list of a list of stocks right you can so is it sorry come again is it data type sir yeah it is a data type of course watch list we are going to create watch list we are going to create that class okay okay, okay. so watch list what next guys what next what else does a user have a very important thing guys you are missing transactions transactions uh user transactions yes we can have user transactions what else I, the most important bit rajit time time time, time of what what time he has sent money sorry what time he has what time he has sent money what time he sends money but how is that going to help okay. uh, neeraj all of this user id and stuff are just metadata we can ignore metadata generally we ignore metadata again account number prashant that is also like metadata yaar metadata to bahut sara add kar sakte ho the most important thing guys you are forgetting portfolio portfolio yeah yes, yes yes and now should portfolio be a complex object this portfolio is a uh, complex object yes or no yeah so we should always create a different class whenever there is a complex object right so portfolio okay what are we talking about we are doing class diagram of zero dot okay Do you think we should have something else also in a user? Do you think we should have something else also in the user, or we are all done? I think we are done. Okay, guys. What should be the next class? What should be the next class? Stock. Neither system can not be the class. सिस्टम क्लास नहीं हो सकता नोटिफिकेशन कैन बी क्लास एस एस यूर राइट स्टॉक्स स्टॉक वी विल कीप इट सिंपल स्टॉक विल हैव अ स्ट्रिंग नेम एंड प्राइस आई नो प्राइस शुड नॉट बी इंटीजर इट शुड बी डबल फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी वी आर कीपिंग इट एज इंटीजर बट वी कैन कीप इट एज डबल टू ओके डू थिंक एनीथिंग एल्स शुड आल्सो बी देयर इन अ स्टॉक डी I think we should have something else also in stock. Stock DTO, yar. Buy price, sell price, it's all transactional things. So stock class me thodi store hoyega. The type of class, uh, sorry, stock. You see, type means like it's NSC or BSC basically. Oh yeah, we can again. Wo bhi metadata hi hai, but yeah. Metadata, yeah. I don't think there should be anything else. Uh, as is price in which stock was bought is important, but who stock class may come here? That will not be in the stock class, right? All of these are DTOs. As is, would you like to unmute, like Mr. As is? Uh, SS, I'm waiting for your response. Are you like unmuting? Okay, I'll move ahead then. EC does has my doesn't have my okay. You you can join your headphones then. Okay, let's move ahead then. Okay, guys, we have to build these two, right? So let's go ahead and build this. Watch this. What is going to be watch list? Watch list is just a list of stocks, right? Yes or no? Guys, yes or no? It is just list of stocks. Yeah. So list of stock stocks. 
right? Good, right? What should be the next one? Portfolio should be the next one. Yes. Okay, what should we have in the portfolio? What should we have in the portfolio? Stocks and mutual funds. Yeah, so basically, what should we have? We should have the list of stocks that we are having and what price we bought them at. Yes or no? Two types of portfolios. Yeah, we can do that assess. We can, you know, further bifurcate, but I don't think we should make it more complex here in a class diagram. Again, new requirements are of course going to be there. They're going to be, but that will be too much engineering as of now. Okay. So portfolio is going to have stocks and the price at which we bought, right? So how should we build it here? Like how should we store it? Because I could have multiple stocks. I could have five stocks and sabka buy price I have. But how do I put it in my, okay, Neeraj is saying hash map. Bought price, number of stock, name of stock, combined price. Okay. What should we do? Like, how should we do? Like, I need to have stock, its price at which I bought, and its quantity. This should be my one object. And I need to have list of this object. Yes or no? Yes or no? If you realize it, if you see it, again, this is a very complex object. List of uh, object. Don't you think we should have a separate class for this? Let's name it portfolio stock. So we are going to have list of portfolio stocks. And we will have to have portfolio stock as a separate class. List of portfolio stock. And let's say these are, let's name it as stocks. Okay. Now we need to build portfolio stock, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Portfolio stock. What will be there in one portfolio stock? There should be stock, buy price, <laughs> I'm sorry. And in India, we can't have fractional shares. So, integer quantity are we all good with this yes or no are we all good with this yes or no anyone having any doubt till here things are going to be much more complex going forward so please uh, stay with us okay shall we move ahead what other class are we missing? What other DTOs are we missing? Anyone? What other DTO should we have? Portfolio stocks consist of which type of stock? Uh, it will contain the stock which I have bought, which somebody has bought, not I. Anyone would have bought. Yes, Ranjit. Notification. Okay, notification. <coughs> what all should we have inside notification? What all should we have inside notification? Tanji? So, uh, what is type of notification could be? Okay, type of notification. Okay, that is good. Oh. Which means you will have to have notification type as an enum. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay.
and what will be uh, the enums the enums could be like um the transactional message means like what we say buy and bought kind of uh, don't uh, you think notification would be of uh, type like this is it a sms or is okay, it okay okay email email or, or is it a let's say an in uh in mail sort of things but mm -hmm. for now let's go ahead with just sms and mm -hmm. a email email right what all description would be there yes this would this would be description description data but yes so you're right about it that we are going to have ankita amount why will we have amount in notification ankita why will we have amount if a transaction has been made or not to wo to description ke andar hi aayega na that will come under description only na right description mein to kuch bhi aa sakta hai like that notification can carry anything for example pay your amount has been properly debited pay your amount has been credited whatever uh, we have added this stock like your buy order is successful now anything like that right so this is notification what other dto are we missing what other dto's are we missing anyone transaction it's just like what will you have in transactions okay what will you have in transactions amount added date etc okay hmm transaction can be there yes but i don't think transaction is a good name order is a good name ranjit logs will be there for sure for sure it will be there order would a better name logs would be there for sure what all things will be there in order what all things will be there in order guys order id okay id string id name of the stock yes uh, rather than having name of the stock let's have the full stock only okay yes user what else yes quantity so int quantity what should be the next one exchange yeah rajiv you can have exchange too what else what type of order because we discussed in the use case diagram uh, market order and a uh, limit order right yes yes so order time yeah and we will have order type as an enum here yeah make sense yes or no I want to see thumbs up from everyone here. Sudhir, Shijin, Venkatesh, Arthi, Ahmed, Lalit, Palak. Okay. I think these are DTOs. Let's build relations in them. Let's build relations. So user is comprised of 
a portfolio and a watch list yes or no a user is composed of a portfolio and a watch list portfolio cannot have any existence if user is not there so the relation between portfolio and user is of a composition relation yes or no everyone is aware of composition relation everyone is aware of composition relation okay uh, Okay, Lakshmi, you're also not aware. So, uh, so right now I can't take that topic because it is too big right now. But you should always learn composition, aggregation, association. Learn these three topics. Like, go ahead and read about it. As of now, I can't really take it because it is very, very big, vast. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, would just like to know, uh, maybe you guys, like, how many of you guys are working professionals? Like, I'm. I just want to know about you. Let me raise a poll here. Let me raise a poll. Okay, I've raised the poll, guys. Uh, please go ahead and fill it. I also want to see, like, okay, as of now, I've received four votes. Okay, eight people have voted till now. What about others here? Yeah? Still, 10 more people are there. Still, ten more people are there. I want to see votes of everyone. Yeah. Okay, let's move ahead. So, user is composed of portfolio and a watch list. I hope. You know about this UML diagram, right? I hope you know about it. Yeah, okay. Watch list is composed of stocks. So, again, composition relation here. Portfolio is composed of portfolio stocks. Okay. Do you think this looks good? Do you think this looks good? All the details? Great. Let's move to the services now or interfaces. Everyone knows why do we call them interfaces? Everyone knows why do we call them interfaces? Yeah. Okay. Let's build them. Let's build all those services or interfaces. What will be the first service, guys? What will be the first service? What will be the first service? First service will, let's say, user service. Whose responsibility, like, need it? Uh, do you really want to start with notification service? Like, always think from the beginning here. Always think from, start from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So user service. What all things will a user do? Create a user? Create user? What will it get? 
it will get all the metadata that is there in the user class. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah. So we can add all of it here. Okay. Create user, update user, delete user, all the, you know, uh, what do you say, thread operations are going to be there, right? What else should be there? What else can a user service do? Authenticating, guys. Authentication. User service cup transaction se kya lene lena tale why should transactions be there in user service like how do, how are they related ankit i want to talk to you can you unmute uh, so user can uh, buy and sell account so wouldn't that be part of transaction so transaction so how is this that related to user service you you yourself mentioned right that that is a part of transactions right ah right okay sorry so, so then why should we put it under user got it yeah. So authentication can be there. Okay. One more thing. Don't you think user service should maintain the list of users as well? Yes or no? Like user service should have access to the database, right? Yes or no? Yeah. So here, just to have that, we will have it as a data member. List of user, users, right? And I think we are done with the user service. What should be the next service guide? What should be the next service? What should be the next service? Order service. Again, go from the start mirage. Directly go on, do not go on to the order. Sindhu, system is someone who is performing an operation. So what do you think? Why should we have system as a service? Like, please, I want you to unmute and have that discussion with me. I want you to unmute. Sindhu, are you there? Okay. Uh, think of from the beginning. Subse main cheese kya hai? Ek stock broking application mein. What is the main thing? What does it show? Stock, right? So stock service should be there. Jo update karti hai the prices ko. Yes or no? So we should have stock service. What will it do? Whenever there's a new company that is getting listed, it will maintain all the list of stocks. Yes or no? So list of stock stocks. Yeah. So CRUD operations will be there. Add stock. Delete stock. All those things will be there. What is the main thing? that stock service will have. What is the main thing that stock service will have? Search stocks, yes. <laughs> the main thing, the main thing. Yes, update price. Right? Update price. Neeraj, why will stock service do portfolio management? Like, I want to know. Why will stock service do portfolio management? Like, what's going in your head? Neeraj, are you there? Stocks will be added to the portfolio. Yes, of course it will. But why will that stock service will happen? Don't you think we should have a separate service called a portfolio service? Because we have to follow all the solid principles also here. If you're adding something related to the portfolio, we are clearly violating single responsibility principle. Yes or no? 
yes or no neeraj and everyone yeah which means we can't really do that right so this should be stock service what should be the next service guys what should be the next service what should be the next service let's move to the order service now order service what should be the operations there guys what should be the operations there guys please what should be or order type order what uh sunny can you please come again okay then there's something you... anyone else would like to have this conversation anyone else order type tracking but ranjit or date time of the order again lalit kaise date time of the order ka service se kya lena dena lalit please how is date time of an order related to the service Prashant, you are absolutely right. Place order, place order should be there, but you will have to break it down here. Why? Because we have two types of orders. So, place market order and place limit order. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah. There should be one more operation, guys. Limit order can be, uh, you know, limit order can be updated as well. So, update limit order, right? Uh, SS, have you not used zero now? Like any stock broking application? Have you not used it? Yeah, so us me limit order nahi pata aapko. No, so yeah, uh, again, uh, this is not something like you should learn. Uh, probably not learn, but maybe you can just go ahead and check. It's not a big deal. You can just go ahead and check what limit orders are. Okay, limit orders are basically a price fix at which you want to have that transaction. For example, if you want to buy some stock and current price of that stock is 100 rupees and you're saying I will buy it at 90. So you place an order where you fix your price in Mujin 90 rupees. So whenever the price will hit 90, up order will execute. Okay, SS. Yeah, I didn't know it's saying. Okay, perfect. So this is what we call as order service. Now, one more important service is notification service. Yeah. Yeah. So what all things will a notification service do? Simple, send notification, yes. Send notification. Perfect. Last service that we are left with is portfolio service. Right. This is going to be the last service. And say, I think this is also not going to be much complex. Update portfolio method is going to be there, and all the arguments will come here. Right now, if you see all these 
interfaces. We are done with all the interfaces. Yes or no? Guys. Yes or no? Now do you have a better, this is what we call as class diagram. Now do you have a clarity? How is the code going to look like? Yeah? So can we code much more easily now? Everyone. Let's put thumbs up, thumbs up here. Do you think we can code easily now? Yeah? Right? So always follow these steps. We are about time now. We are just having four minutes. So I'll quickly, you know, explain all of this stuff to you. And we are going to continue this in the next webinar, which is going to be on the next Wednesday, by the way. So webinar Wednesday we are going to have. But yeah. Uh, SS LAD is really, really important when you go in any company. LAD doubts are there for a fresher also these days. Yeah. If you're going to apply for any company, there will be three rounds of DSA, two rounds of low level system design, which is LAD, and two rounds of HLD. So please. Okay. Okay, SS. Yeah. So if you see now, you would be able to code this. HLD is high level system design. Does uh, patterns also come in LLD? Design patterns you are talking, Ranji? Are you talking about design patterns? Yeah, yes, Ranji. Design patterns are a part of low level system design. Okay. Okay. It is a part of low level system design. Okay. So once you're done with this class diagram, then we move to the activity diagram. What happens in an activity diagram? We generally decide the flow of functions. For example, how will a user place an order? So what will happen? User will create a order. So creation method of order service will be called. Then what will happen? Validation of that order will happen. So validation method in order service will be called. Then what will happen? Execution of that order. So execution of that order will happen. So three methods will be called one after the other. Ankita, yes, it is for an SD rule. It is for an SD rule. Okay, it is for an SD rule. So it depends on the time of this side. Yes, yes. That's right. If you see in the class diagram, I was again and again talking. You saw it principles, so follow the rule. Right, single responsibility. I was again and again talking about that, right? SSX, HLD is high level system design. Okay, but yeah, we'll take this up. We'll continue doing this in the next session, next Wednesday, same at 8 p.m. I hope the session was good. Uh, did you enjoy the session? Like, did you, was it uh, knowledgeable? If you would have to rate the session out of five, uh, guys, please, I would be really happy if you can put your feedbacks in the chat. Yeah. OK, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next session. See, bye-bye. Thanks.